Good morning. church we have two services too it's uh, a traditional service in the morning and a contemporary service at ours is at 10 30. i call it big church and little church <laughs> some people get the joke some people don't but but uh it's i don't know what, if y'all would be considered bigger little church i don't know but you are nice to look at and glad you came in here to, to sing um i wanted to uh i listened to the prayer request at first service and um I think it's good you do that, that you're able to vote, to, to, to voice your request and, and, the, and the church can hear it. But I, I want to commend y'all for trying to find a way to keep your ministry going. I mean, that's just cool. My daughter graduated from Radford 10 years ago, I guess, and uh, she's a nurse. And she, uh, y'all don't like Radford. You don't like Radford. So why are you making that face? All right, yeah. Okay, that's okay. It's okay. I'm a Duke fan. Does that bother anybody? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> Don't worry about him. But I, but she, she, he, they, he he actually thought Roe versus Wade was which way should we paddle across the Potomac? Oh, get out of here, boy. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, <laughs> that's about dumb. <laughs> but my daughter was uh, uh, her and she was in a group that was leading crew. They called it crew then. And they, they kept inviting me to come down. And I went down one Thursday night to see one of their services. And it was like 
200 kids going to it. I'm like, that's incredible. They got 200 kids and they're praising God and it was just uh, a blessing. So definitely commend y'all for, for trying to keep that going. That's, that's a good thing. All right. All that to say, we're Sunrise. And uh, we hope that you uh, uh, have come today not to listen to music so much, but to listen to God. We want this to still be your Sunday morning service. We, uh, we take very seriously if a pastor asks us to come sing on Sunday mornings and he doesn't preach. So uh, we uh, are going to just share God's love to you in song and just open your heart up and let God bless you as we uh, try to do that. All right. Was in the bed asleep. Jonah don't run from that city. They're living in a world of sin. Follow the call of the Lord and let God's blessing begin. Jonah prayed like the word of man. God made that old big fish, spit him out upon dry land. We went to the people of Nineveh. Destruction was on its way. They turned their hearts to God. The city. Say 
Thank you for allowing us to worship with you. If you were here for the first service, uh, don't let that picture scare you. I don't know why they put that up. I don't know who that is. Don't run away from that. But We are Sunrise in Fredericksburg, Virginia. We're happy to be here. Uh, we were told to make certain we let you know that our bus is broken down. It has no air, which means it can't stop. So we decided not to do that, drive, drive it up here. And we're in a little vehicle. So. Uh, uh, I had an epiphany. As you know, you get older. You, you have epiphanies? No, I had vaccine for that okay. when I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. I, <laughs> I had an epiphany a while ago. I was over there and I took my boots off because my feet were hurting. And I remember some of you guys, uh, our generation may remember a, a southern gospel quartet named the Cathedrals. Anybody ever heard of them? Or George Johnson? Glenn Payne, and I remember we did a, we used to do some shows for them. We used to go sing until people came in to see them. And uh, we were sitting backstage and George Johns had his boots off back there. And, and he said, boy, you'll never sing bass like I do. I said, yes, sir, you're exactly right. And then I remember now I'm old and have my boots off. You still ain't sing I still can't sing bass. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. I hope you like bluegrass, that's all we know. And we sing it for Jesus Christ. Down there on your far left, uh, he's picking five-string banjo, and he sings a baritone part on our quartet numbers. We think he's about the best in the whole wide world. His name is Larry Jett. Y'all give him a hand. Down there. <laughs> Standing next to him, picking a uh, guitar, and he writes a lot of our material and does the arrangements. Um, and he'll be singing you some real pretty stuff here in just a few minutes. His name is Victor Jordan. Give him a hand. Picking the mandolin here, and uh, he's also the manager of our band. He sings the lead parts on all of our stuff. He's also our bus mechanic, which may be why we don't have that this morning, but I'm not going to go there. He actually does a good job. He's really good at putting doors on off the buses. If you need a door put on, let him know. He'll take care of it. And uh, uh, honestly, he's just a great guy. We've been together, me and him. Uh, Victor came a uh, year after we started for 37 years now. 
Uh, so thank God for that. Yeah. His name is Ralph Sellers. Give him a big hand. Do we have any bus mechanics in the, in the audience? Any bus mechanics? Any bus? Nope. You should never own a bus. It's just like a boat. The best friend, the best uh, boat to have is a friend's boat. There was, there was a guy here earlier that was a bus mechanic. Was he? Yeah, I said, I bust in heaven the air. What did he say, Larry? Huh? What did he, he say? He said he ain't feeding enough beans. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, Larry. We ain't Larry. tried that yet. No, we, no, we ain't more. I, yeah, I, <laughs> There's no more beans in the store, man. Everybody bought all the food. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Can't get any. Over here playing the bass and singing the bass is Eddie Haynes. Y'all give him a hand, please. One of the blessings of singing this here this morning is that we didn't need the bus because we didn't need a sound system. And we, we, we neglected to, I cannot remember your name, but the sound man that worked with us today is doing a great job. Y'all give him a hand for what he's doing. So no, there's no pressure on the bus not airing up. If we don't need it anyway, let's jump in the car and go like the old days. Just like the old days. All right, we're trying acapella for you. Y'all ready? Yep. Here we go. Blind Barnabas. <clears throat> oh, hello, blind Barnabas stood on the way. Blind, blind Barnabas stood on the way. Well, old blind Barnabas stood on the way crying. Mercy on me, but low blind Barnabas stood on the way. Blind, blind Barnabas stood on the way. Well, old blind Barnabas stood on the way, crying, Oh Lord, have mercy on me. In my God's Bible, the word proclaimed when Christ went a cripple, the cripple and the lame. He gave to the poor and the needy fed, the healing the sick and raising the dead. And then one day down in Galilee, he passed by a man who could not see. Well, the man was blind. He was blind from birth. They tell me that his name was old blind Bartimaeus. Stood on the way, blind, blind Bartimaeus. Stood on the way, well, old blind Bartimaeus. Stood on the way, crying, oh Lord, have mercy on me. When Bartimaeus heard that the Lord was nigh, he fell on his knees, he began to cry. Oh, thou man from Galilee, blind great God Almighty, have mercy on me. My God stopped and he turned around. Whoa, whoa. He saw blind Bartimaeus on the ground. Whoa, whoa. He touched his eyes with the palm of his hand. Blind Bartimaeus saw like a natural man. He cried, Oh Lord, Mary's, Mary's baby, baby. Oh, Lord, son of David, oh, Lord, bleeding lamb. Oh, oh, when low blind Bartimaeus stood on the way, blind. Stood on the way, well, old blind Bartimus stood on the way, crying, Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Well, old blind Bartimus stood on the way, blind, blind Bartimus stood on the way, well, old blind Bartimus stood on the way, crying, Oh Lord, have mercy on me. So happened they're recording this one. I messed up. I know. I know. You ready? Ready. Get it. Strange night. 
down Lord, I ain't no stranger now I've been introduced to the Father and the Son Lord, I ain't no stranger now Kept us on time, and yeah, y'all stayed on time the whole thing. It was really, really good. We had nothing to blame, any mistakes on. Yo, I don't know this, but y'all actually pushed that song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They normally wait about four or five beats before they come back in, but they were actually on time this time. Yeah, we did so it right this thank time. You. We may mm -hmm. even decide to do it that way next maybe. time. Maybe. Do it like we recorded it, maybe. Pretty much. <laughs> you know, um, I was telling the first service how I've been serving God for a long time. I'm, I'm 56 years old. I'll be 57 in July. And my, um, my way of looking at Christ, I was talking to someone before we left here, and they were talking about the church that they go to. Uh, he's kind of, they feel like the church, not this church. I think y'all have a great church, by the way. It feels like it's uh, very filled with the spirit, and y'all have some good people here. So and you have a great pastor, it seems like. But uh, Yes, you can give him. But they were saying that they feel like the church is getting kind of stale and they don't feel freedom or they don't feel spirit moving and things like that. And, uh, and uh, I've learned it in my walk through, uh, through life that we, um, we need to keep God's love fresh in our hearts. We do. We need, we need to, to be intentional about making that happen. And I, I told the first service that my uh, wife and I, one of the, we've been married 34 years, and one of the biggest, um, it wouldn't even be an argument, but disagreements we have is that she would say, I'm going to pray God gives you a great day today. And I say, Mama, uh, God don't give me great days or bad days. He just helps me make it through my day. And, uh, and um, she was, she's been persistent for 34 years. She's never stopped saying it to me. Boom. Every, so... About six months ago, I was challenged by something I read or heard, and I, that God wants to walk with me intentionally. He wants me to walk with him minute by minute in my life. And, and, and I have been pursuing that. Taking time to pause during my day and ask God to give me direction. Even if it's a normal thing that I do all the time, something I don't even think twice about, I just pray God gives me direction and where I'm going. And, and I have noticed a difference in the communication that me and God have with each other now. He talks to me in a lot of ways. And maybe I'm just recognizing it more. 
by little things that happens or things that people see me. Uh, when people see me, they may say something to me. And uh, one of the biggest blessings on that is my daughter. Um, she's got two beautiful kids now that I love so much. I said, Dad, she says, I've seen you try to and, and, and be a man of God all my life. But it is so nice to see you trying to do better. I didn't do that for my daughter or for anybody. I didn't do it for anybody to see what I was doing. I did it because I want Christ to be close to me. But it just proved the point. The closer we get to Jesus, the more we be what he wants us to be, the more we walk the way he wants us to walk, the more influence we have on people around us. And, our, and it doesn't stay right in here. It goes out. And this world needs it to go out. I think you all would agree with that. It needs it. So Victor's going to sing a song that we, um, that we love a whole lot. It's one of my favorite songs that he does. It's called, Lord, I want to be what you want me to be. It's pretty simple. It's easy to say, not always easy to do. But just pray that the Spirit will talk to your life today while we're singing this song, that you can be what God wants you to be. Lord, I don't want to do one thing on my own. Put me where you want me, Lord. That's where I belong. Give me the strength, Lord, to do thy perfect will. When I'm in the lowest valley, I can climb the highest hill. Lord, I want to do what you want 
Closer to Jesus. Got two good friends here today. Fred and Judy came from down in Fredericksburg up here. Y'all make give them a hand. They drove all the way up here. I think they uh it must be like flea market or something just happened to come by. I don't know why they showed up, but they actually getting married in May and uh excited. So uh pray for, for them uh, on that journey as well. We'll dedicate this song to them. It's one we wrote a long, long time ago. Back when we were illegally driving these things, I'm not, I don't know what happened, but anyway, I'm just kidding. This one called Closer to Jesus. <clears throat> I've never seen Jesus or touched his sweet hand. I never have traveled across Jordan's lane. But his wonderful love is the sweetest I've failed. And I'm closer to Jesus than anyone else. He's given me blessings. That I cannot count And when the storms come He's always around He's there in the sunrise He's there in the night And when I my Jesus, he makes it all right. I did not see him heal the blind man, but down in my He spoke to my heart, and I'll hold to his hand, and I'll tell the whole world. That I cannot count And when the storms come He's always around He's there in the sunrise He's there in the night And when I Thank you. So, no, you go ahead. So, <laughs> woo, if you only knew what he said, what he says to us here when you came here. Uh, one time he got up here, didn't have any socks on. I lifted his britches up from the bottom up. And he didn't have any socks on. I'm like, man, you forgot your socks. He said, I don't never wear no socks. It's been 37 years, you haven't figured out that. You got socks on today? 
boots on today, yeah, got to today. So back in the early days, we, uh, we thought we was going to Nashville and we even put it up on our bus thing and we never made it. And we weren't going to make it anyway. I've been to Nashville. We went to listen to other people. <laughs> But uh, we used to be put in with a lot of Southern Gospel bands because nobody sang bluegrass and we wasn't good enough to sing Southern Gospel. And this is one of the songs that stuck with, with us, stuck with me, that I just love to death because it's really the story of how I try to live my life every day. Um, and it is a Southern Gospel song, but we do it in our, our way, just a little bit different. But I'd love for you to sing it with me. If you know the song, it's an old song called Just Any Day Now. And... Uh, and all of this mess that's going on and, and the uncomfortable part of it with all of that, remember God's in control. He's in control and we belong to him, therefore we can be in control. We were born to bear witness to him. He created us to resemble him. And he doesn't want us freaking out. Excuse me. He doesn't want us acting like we don't know what we're doing. If you're a young man in here, I'm looking at this fellow down front here, reminds me so much of him when I was his age, which has only been about 10 years ago. I, just, yeah. Yeah. I wish somebody told me this when I was your age. You were born to be a warrior. You were born to have a backbone. Stand up for Jesus Christ. Be a man. Open the door for women. Say yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. And don't let the world Make your heart grow cold and calloused. Amen. Listen to the words of this. We'll try to sing it for you. Sing it along with us because our hope is in Jesus Christ. I said last service, there's only one, made, one man made thing in heaven. That's the scars on Jesus Christ. He did that for us. And our hope lies in the fact that this is not our home. This is not where we belong. One day we'll be home, and that day is just around the corner. Just around the corner. Sing it with us called Just Any Day. Each day I take the time to stop and look around me. I see the signs of his appearing everywhere. The things he said were soon to come are now before us. And I can feel a strange excitement in the air. Just any day now, our Lord is come. For his appearing And I'll gladly leave This world of stress here below For this road that I've been traveling Has made me weary And I feel so much closer now to home Just any day now Our Lord is coming
fixing on stopping now. Y'all sing with us, okay? Yes, any day now, our Lord is coming. He'll be returning for you and me. Oh, I've been watching and I've been waiting. Just any day now, His face I'll see. Just any Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hey, Robert, what's your number? I got, um, I just want to remind everybody that Jesus Christ, if you look around, Jesus Christ is still doing what he promised he would do a long time ago. Amen. He's still saving souls. He's still reaching and grabbing people out of the gutter. He's still changing hearts. He's still doing those things. You know, and, and, and you all, uh, everyone that goes to this church, you know, um, I know in my church, I go to kind of a big church in town, um, and it's like multiple location type deals. It's a big church, but man, I tell you what, it's on fire. And just, you know, last year alone, there was over 2,000 souls that made a decision to follow Christ, you know? And so, I say that not to brag at all, but I know that you've had people in this church this past year to make decisions, to say, you know what, I'm tired of what the world's trying to sell me. I'm tired. I'm, I look through all that stuff that they've tried to push on me, you know? And I know... And Jesus calls us. He calls and he talks to our hearts. And he's still doing it today. He's Jesus. He's, he's God. He hasn't lost anything. No matter what the world tells you, you turn on the news, man, you can't believe it. You know, nine-tenths of what you hear. That's mostly commentary. And what that means is what, that's what people think. That's what they think. They're not telling you what's true. I want to know what's true. In the conversation, I want to know what's right. I want to know what's right, and I want to know what's wrong. And that's what that really gets me riled up. Somebody will be saying something on TV, you know, where the earth was formed, you know, 800 million years ago. I'm like, there ain't no way. You know, you're, you're feeding that. You know, you're feeding it to me. You're trying to convince me that our Jesus didn't make the earth. You're trying to convince my children that Jesus didn't make the earth. You're trying to convince me and my friends that things just happen. Well, it doesn't. Jesus is still on the throne. He still loves you. You know, he still, he knows, he's so big. I was reading this morning, you know, there's things in our life that we have trouble as Christians to believe. But we're to pray, Lord, help my unbelief. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to believe a lot of things. I've never seen Jesus, but I know in my heart. And you can't explain that to somebody. Yeah, I know. You know, I, live, I, work, in a, I work in an office, and I work uh, uh, in an office with other people. And I don't think any of them know the Lord. I love them to death, good people. But I hope it's something that I can say that would change their hearts one day. I just wanted to say that Jesus is still on the throne. He's big enough. You know, when we were, uh, when we were going through it this morning, you know, people were asking for prayer. It don't just happen in this church. It's happened in churches all over the globe. People asking for prayer. People sick. People dying. But our, the same God who made the earth, it's the same God that's so small, he knows what each and every one of you are going through. And he actually doesn't just know it, but he cares. Jesus is still on the throne. He's, he still loves you. And he's coming back one day. Okay? Those are things that we can take to the bank. And don't let anybody tell you in it otherwise. 
He's in wrong. I want you to know that uh, he did, and that was great. Victor doesn't talk much. When he talks, you know God spoke to his heart. Amen? And I want you to know God's still in the miracle business. Victor works for the government. And uh, he gets off about 5 o'clock every day, but he's home by 2.30 every day. I don't know what happened. I'm just kidding. I didn't, I didn't, God forgive me and forgive me for everything else. Two, three, four. Let Jesus minister you to you through this song. Suppose you were a pitcher made of very fine clay, the potter's hands and made you to be perfect in every way and then he placed you on the shelf to dry felt yourself so wonderful you started to swell with pride you forgot the potter the skill of his hand Remember how it all began. And as your pride grew greater, your sides they began to crack. And so the potter came and he broke you down and started to build you back. He broke you down. to break you down he broke you down he broke you down before he could work he had to break you down
Man, we appreciate y'all letting us sing to you. We hope uh, um, that we said or did something that made you uh, just think about you and Jesus. You know, uh, we, we wanted you to enjoy the music. We wanted you to like what you heard. But if you didn't, that's fine. We want you to know that Jesus loves you. And um, um, it's special. And if you hadn't had it for a while, it's a really special time when the Holy Spirit takes his finger and just touches a spot in your heart and says, work on it. And it, I mean, it's challenging, but it's a really special feeling. And you know it when the Holy Spirit's talking to you. You know it. It's no question. And so we hope that the God is finger, the Holy Spirit is just hitting a spot in your heart today. Say, you are a wonderful person. I love you. But let's do this a little bit different and be closer to Jesus. Okay? We, uh, Count it a privilege being here. You have a wonderful church. We've been here a couple times and uh, sang with a band called My Brother's Keeper. Is that what it was? Yeah. And they, they're pretty tough young fellas. They, they, uh, they, play, they play good music, and we enjoy when we get to hear them. So uh, keep serving Jesus. Keep loving each other so you can love the community. Um, uh, just let Jesus love on you some. Just let him love on you and be, be what he wants you to be. So... God bless you. We're going to end with the song that we always end with. We don't always do it right, but we always end with it. It's called Little Black Train. God bless you, and we hope to see you again sometime soon.
Thank you.